What's good YouTube, what's you here with another video on Godzilla vs Kong. So I've got an update video for the trailer reveal day, a massive update. And I need to kind of apologize because I thought this was official news because it was coming from the Godzilla stroke movies.com website, which is a very reliable website usually, but in my last video that did pretty well for the channel, I realized a bunch of people were saying, yeah, this story was published on April the 1st. So you know what it means. It was an April 1st video. I don't know how I didn't clock onto this. So essentially what I said was that Warner Bros. president of Worldwide Marketing, Blair Rich, in a recent interview, was asked about the potential timeline for the new traders for the company's up and coming slate for the film Godzilla vs. Kong, which is going to be freaking insane. And in this video, I said that the article said, we're looking at hopefully sometime in April, but early May for sure. And I'm pretty sure now, and I'm pretty confident that that was an April's first prank video. But to be honest, guys, I didn't check when it was posted. I just took the validity, the presence of this website having the best information when it comes to the MonsterVerse. So I didn't even fact check the date because usually you don't need to check the date of when something's posted. So I apologize. But also, it still could be true. But I'm unsure because of the current climate we're in. The current climate we are in is freaking bad for our monsterverse because it is starting to get really crowded it's starting to get crowded okay november is starting to get crowded so what's happened now is marvel cinematic studios marvel studios kevin feige bob Iger, and his squad they've pushed black widow into the same month black widow is coming out the same month as Godzilla vs. Kong currently. Now, this is a really bad thing for this movie. Why? Because I don't think Black Widow is going to hit a billion, anywhere near a billion. I don't even know if the cinemas are going to be open by that time, but it is really bad for the MonsterVerse because Black Widow will be the first movie of this year when it comes to Marvel-related content. So, it is freaking bad. It is so bad. And I think, personally, they should delay the movie again because this is such a big movie we've got godzilla versus kong we've got okay better not say that's an actual spoiler as soon as i know what happens right it is going to be a mammoth epic battle for the titans sake and as we know based on the last video which is mostly true except for the release date it still could fall in there that we will be getting new titans in this movie now it's getting very very crowded and the best way to watch this movie is always going to be IMAX. Now, if you live in England, there's only a few IMAXs around the country. The best one is in Leicester Square. It's a freaking awesome IMAX. So I don't know if this movie is actually going to come out this year. If I was in charge of Warner Bros and Legendary Pictures Marketing, I, I would sadly push this movie back because it's getting crowded. You know, it was crowded. November was a slow month. There was literally going to be nothing. Now, the same website as before, I told you before, GodzillaMovies.com, they published an article about Godzilla vs. Kong gets new competition at the box office. Now, this was posted a good while ago, but I haven't done an update video in a while. And yeah, I, I kind of agree with the narrative it's pushing. There's also Dixie, Disney, and Pixar movie coming out on the 20th of November. So... There actually is a pretty hefty November now. And also, we don't know what other movies are going to be pushed into this. So, they most likely will push this movie back to 2021, which is a bad thing. But ultimately, if we want to get another MonsterVerse-based movie after this movie, then it needs to come out in a pretty quiet month. As we know, whichever movie is going to be the first movie when the cinemas and theatres reopen, as you guys say over in the state... I'm predicting it's probably going to be Venom 2 in October because we are now in April, nearly March, and it's looking likely Comic-Con San Diego has just been delayed as well. So if the trailer was going to be slipped in the DMs there, that is not likely to happen. So it is going to be a very interesting and quiet next few months 
for everything related to movies, cinemas, TV shows. It's going to be so freaking quiet. But I just wanted to make this short, informative video, apologizing for saying we had the release date for a movie trailer even, when we don't, but it was literally an April's Fool. But I didn't actually know that. So also, they've posted some pretty cool concept art rare godzilla 2014 concept art revealed during last week's monsterverse watch along viewing of godzilla 2014 a plethora of incredible concept art was shown off much of the artwork hasn't been seen by fans in year uh, years and now some of the art has been officially revealed reportedly never been seen before but it's pretty cool so what does it show um some of the concept art shows marvelous scenes of battling titans the concept art pieces exhibition the earlier stages of the best imagery imagery that the monsterverse has to offer you can view the content art down below on our overlay right now so you see some pretty darn awesome scenes of godzilla being attacked by helicopters it looks like and you see some pretty cool displays that i'm guessing didn't make it into the movie or they the content art doesn't always make it into the movie but it is pretty interesting if you're into this kind of monsterverse stuff so they are really freaking awesome and it doesn't really add much value to it this is kind of a standard thing that they do with a lot of movies like avengers endgame infinity war spider-man far from home they dropped deleted scenes they dropped like concept art that was never revealed but it is from the original movie back in 2014 so it's not really going to reveal anything new to you if you if you didn't already know that so also in the news so there appears to be a new titan break in a new monsterverse titan image revealed a brand new image of titan camels up from the legendary monsterverse has been revealed will it be in godzilla versus kong we don't know but it's a bat like titan is slated to make its first appearance in an up-and-coming monsterverse graphical novel the new image was revealed via legendary official social media account during the MonsterVerse watch along of Godzilla 2014 on Thursday night. What do you think of the new Titan? And will the Titan appear in a movie? Maybe uh, somewhere down the road if it does well. It does look pretty cool. It's a monster bat. Just think Batman combined with Morbius from the Spider-Man villain kind of category. And it looks nothing like that, but that's kind of what it is. So it is cool that they are introducing new titans into their graphical novels which could translate down the road into appearing in a movie which is pretty cool so there was actually a godzilla monsterverse watch along event which has already happened as a time of recording this so if you went to that if you took part in that that is pretty cool it's pretty cool that legendary pictures are trying to keep the fandom happy although they haven't revealed the trailer like all week I've been getting messages of people saying, when is the Venom 2 trailer coming? And I'm like thinking I'm more interested in the Godzilla vs. Kong trailer because that is going to be absolute fire. It is pretty bad because we've got a tease at CCXP of them both fighting on a battleship. Yet if you put it in a YouTube video, you've got your video taken down for copyright. So we just need the trailer. But as I said at the start of this video, I don't think it'd be wise for them to drop the, tr drop the uh, movie in November alongside the Black Widow movie. Because although the Black Widow movie, I don't think it's going to make a billion. I would be very surprised. But what should you Captain Marvel did? I know Captain Marvel did, but that was in between Infinity War and Endgame. So it's a completely different situation. I just don't think Black Widow has a pull. It's a prequel movie. No one really cares. But because everyone's been in isolation and locked up, people might care for this movie. So it's going to be very interesting to see when they start the official promotion tour for this actual movie we don't know because it comes out in november we're already in april and we haven't seen it yet so it is a bit suspect now as we know they have started the official promotion tour for june 2020 which comes out in december pretty weird how they've got official images yet this movie is meant to come out the month before yet there's no official images for this movie which could mean we would be couldn't could be getting it towards the end of april stroke early may which the april fool's prank kind of said so maybe it could still happen so in the last video we got some really interesting comments to do with the new titan that was revealed in the last video we did when we got the toys of the new titans which is pretty darn cool that they have revealed that but that was more from a toy set leak rather than them officially coming out going yo this is a vanity fair article this is some new titans 
but they didn't even say that. So it is going to be interesting to see what happens with these new Titans and see if they actually do appear in the movie. At the moment, I have been told some stuff from a test screening, but I don't want to say it in a video because you know what studios are like. It might get flagged because of that. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know down below. What do you think about this new bat in the MonsterVerse? It looks pretty darn cool. Apologize again for getting the trailer date wrong, but it could still be right. And let me know what you think about these rare Godzilla 2014 bitches. I, I will overlay some during this video. So it's just an update video to let you guys know what is freaking going on. We have already had the elite Godzilla vs. Kong images that we did in a video a while ago. Interesting now that the images were removed as the request of Warner Bros. I'm just overlooking the article now. So them images have been removed from the Godzilla slash MonsterVerse website, which is very interesting that they were removed. So like always, guys, please, which kind of also means that it's real. When a studio removes something, it means it's real, but it is really suspect because they were toy images that officially will be coming out. So it means that, you know, the mega Godzilla and the mega Kong they're official, but I, I'm not expecting to have Kong, Godzilla, and Mega Kong, and Mega Godzilla, and Mecha Godzilla. So it, it's, it could be pretty interesting. And also, it does reveal one of the new Titans. I think that's probably the reason why they took it down, to stop spoilers getting out. But like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. I'll catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.